Me, the big clown with the big red nose. Big, big clown. Now my TV is gone. You know what I mean? And there's nothing there. What am I going to tell my mom when she comes back from Switzerland? When she comes and she sees Dololo TV in the TV room. Is it the part where you send someone money <laughs> to come back with your stolen goods? <laughs> like, where? Where? Moment. <laughs> ah! At that moment. <laughs> hey! My heart dropped. I'm now hearing to me saying you have a TV. I'm now hearing the Indian guy in my head, bro. Make sure that you see the money. Yo, it was a lot. Hey housemates! We in the house! Guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back! I'm Dumi. And I'm Sandy So. And this is the Ngwenya's house. Ngwenya's house. Guys, if it's your first time here, you're not a housemate yet. To become a housemate, all you need to do is click subscribe and hit the notification bell and, and the, the all option, option <laughs> so you don't <laughs> miss a notification every time we post. And, and if you're a returning housemate, welcome back welcome back welcome back oh yes welcome to our indoor picnic i'm already yeah. serenading my baby but i should stop because i can't sing this is actually the first ever time we buy whipped cream i want ever. to put it in her mouth <laughs> <laughs> And then we bought strawberries. Um, we bought milk chocolate to melt for the strawberries. Yeah, like, so oh, we bought milk chocolate for the strawberries. Strawberries, yeah. And then I, I just felt like pretzel sticks. Bought that. We have peanuts, microwave popcorn. And it's not a picnic so, without fruits. Yeah, fruit. It's fruit. And then, of course, um, we've got champagne on us. Champagne, we're gonna have, we're gonna have mimosas because plain champagne tastes like piss. Anyway, so, what um, now? so guys, we bought a margarita pizza. Actually, we love this pizza. It's a margarita pizza from Piccola Rosa. And here, the history of this margarita pizza, <laughs> <laughs> I, it goes a long way back, but it's our Today we now. decided to remix it honey and Yeah, I really love basil on pizza, guys. Yo, I love it. So when I saw it at, at Checkers, I needed to have it, especially on margarita pizza. Hopefully it works out the way I imagined. I'll just put one per piece. So what do you usually do when you buy this pizza? Because it comes with... Uh, chili and parmesan cheese as you can see mm -hmm. we usually then get there's an avo i don't know if my hand is showing where i'm pointing mm -hmm. but there's the avo over there next to the cloth we usually buy avo and then we just have it with avo and chili but dumi has discovered basil so we're going to put basil as well and it's not the basil actually already smells nice it's got smells this nice so aroma nice, yeah. so whilst dumi's doing that we're going to put the pizza in the oven whilst dumi's doing that let me show you where we're going to be setting up this is the place we're going to move all of this in fact, why am I explaining? Look at the empty place. You'll come along as we set up this place and have our indoor picnic. Come along. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Yo, I got a bit of water in here, but it's fine. Good luck with it, but it's okay. Ooh. That's a banging pizza, baby. Sometimes, guys, when you order fast food, you want it your own way. So uh -huh. that's actually what <laughs> happens in this house. We optimize it. Also, we make our own fast food in the house, you know. Not ready yet. Welcome to our indoor picnic site, but there's more. There's rose petals and there's fairy lights. Oh yes, oh yes. Look 
please then let us know in the comment section what you guys are watching on netflix um tonight we're going to try this movie called thunder force but uh, we don't know we'll see just let us know in the comment section what you guys are watching and we'll try it out yeah we'll definitely try it out so what do you usually do like um also let us know in the comment section if you guys also do this mm. during the week we watch series and then on the weekend that's when we then switch to movies, movies yeah. and try to discover new stuff that's not a series oh my god mm. Yo. it's a big sword <laughs> it's everything <laughs> mm. so whilst we're eating um let's just get into a story time do you know how they start stories um mm. in Nesot, or how do they start stories when they tell you stories in Sud? that's ending it and then we go and then you start oh and that's then what it is and then there's something else i think it's two years mm -hmm. well, it's like the person who gonna start the story or the and then we're not going mm -hmm. and then the person starts the story that's what it is. please correct me if i'm wrong because it's been a while since I've been told the story, mm. but anyway, yeah, also, also in the comment section, please let us know when you are young, in your childhood, in your culture, or whatever. I don't know how to say, mm. but like, how did they tell stories? In your language, in your yeah. language, how did they tell stories? Like, how did they start telling stories? Anyway, so I'll say what's and then mm -hmm. what you say to him. Mm -hmm. All right, story time begins now. What's up, Sugela? When I was in varsity, I bought a TV. Like the Sony Bravia, I bought it with, I think it was textbook money, I don't know. But I. Yeah, it was textbook money. So that was the first TV I ever bought for myself. Anyway, so I have this thing. Specifications of the TV. Like, okay, it was like a 46 inch Sony Bravia LCD TV. Obviously, for a student, that's like a huge ass TV. Um, anyway, so. I just had to share the context of like why the TV was important. That's it. So um, I have this thing. I still have it now. Like I'm always like online, right? I like now it's with auctions. I'm always like on auctions, looking at stuff on auction. Before I don't even know why, but I just used to be. Excuse me. This used to be on OLX or whatever, and uh, Gumtree and, and and stuff. So now Sunday so. Seeing, <laughs> honestly, I don't know why I believe this. So I'm an Olex. I see this deal for this 65-inch smart TV in Midrand, selling at six triple nine. So I'm like, Hybo, six triple nine for a TV that's like worth thirteen grand. I'm like, no way. It was even cheaper, babe. But you it? were telling me the story, and I was like, no way. This TV is at like three thousand. Oh, so that's three thousand. Mm. Anyway, for 65 inch housemates. Anyway, it sounds like no way, Jose, am I going to miss this deal? Never in my life. <laughs> so then I start thinking, because firstly, firstly, I had and I hadn't like I only had only started working a few a few days or a week ago. I didn't have any money, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sell my TV because at least I know I'm going to be buying another TV anyway. Why don't I just sell my TV? So I then also put my TV up on OLX. To me that time I was like, babe, don't do it. Like you have a TV, it's enough. Just leave it alone. And now nah, the thick head I had, I was like, no ways. I'm not going to miss a deal here. 65 inch at 3.5. <laughs> don't miss the deal, Yonabade. Fuko! That goes my TV on OLX. And I put it for like 4.5, right? So obviously I had gotten the reason my TV was cheap. I don't know why, but like I think that guy was uh, like just a junkie trying to sell the TV for some drugs. I don't know. But my I had bought the TV cheap initially because my TV was worth much more than the two point five I paid. So I also thought maybe this is another one of those times when I was seeing this deal online. Had that that it looked like it was coming from a proper shop. Shop. So I go. I get I get numerous phone calls. Some people are like, "Yeah, can they see the TV first? Whatever. I'm like, "No, the TV, the pictures are on OLX, whatever." And then I got this one guy. He's like, "Listen, bruh, 
I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Pretoria. I'm at work. Please don't sell the TV. Funny thing, he even says, please don't sell the TV to anyone unless you see the money in your account. Mm. He literally said that. I'm like, okay, don't worry. I'll keep the TV for as long as possible for you because you're coming back from work. Mm. You're going to come out of work and come pick it up. I'll keep it for you. But if somebody wants to pay me upfront, before you come, I'll sell it. And it's like, okay, cool, but please just make sure that you don't you don't let the TV go without seeing money. <coughs> Sharp fed it. I'm 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 happy because now I know I'm gonna get my 65 inch. I know I've got a solid customer. Ah. Next I tell my I tell Dumi that and then she's like, babe, are you really gonna sell the TV? And I'm like, of course. Then next thing, another guy, I'm even going to blast his name because it's probably not even his real name. Some guy called Franz goes and calls me. He's like, yeah, do you still have a TV? I'm like, yeah, sure, I still have it. I'm like, uh, but I, I already have a person that's going to come and pick it up. So if you want the TV, you have to send the money right now and come quite right. I said, no, okay, no, no, it's fine. I really want the TV. It's my daughter's birthday. I work far and I haven't been able to buy her anything. So she's been crying about wanting a TV because she wants privacy in her bedroom. You know how teenagers are. Ing -ing. He went on about his daughter. Now I'm lap, I'm getting taken away. Oh my God, this girl is going to be so happy. She's going to get a Sony Bravia in <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Okay, okay, France, send me the money. Eh, it's like, okay, give me your bank account. What bank do you use? I'm like, FNB is like, okay, I use Standard Bank, but I'll send you a proof of payment and I'll make sure that, like, it's one of those pay and clear things. I'm like, okay, sharp France, that's cool, but I'm not going to move it unless I get the toll. I get the money. <laughs> I'm going to eat for this next part. Hmm. Anyway, um, and then I get an SMS. An SMS from, like, you know the numbers that you get? The long numbers. The long numbers, the 08 twat twat, saying money has been sent to my account from Standard Bank. I go into the bank account, the money is not there. Obviously, I expect it to not be there because Standard Bank is definitely yeah, I need to shop. Okay, my pins are shy at France. I say, have you got the proof of payment? I'm like, I got an SMS, but I haven't received an email from you with the letter from the bank. Okay, I say, France, no problem. Let me just drop and send it to you quickly. I don't know why I hadn't sent it already. But please, man, that TV is mine, right? I really need to like make sure I do this for my daughter. Sharp. He sends me a proof of payment. That looks so legit. It looked exactly like the standard bank thing. It even had references and 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 whatever time was correct to when I the, the same um, the same POP via SMS had come. Everything looked legit. Everything was fine. So at that point, I was happy because I also work like that with business. I like I send pay, proof of payments and stuff like that. And I always when people pay me, I always look out for to make sure there's a bank reference. Because usually that's what the bank say. Make sure that the reference is correct. Make sure everything is fine. Yeah, well. and so it's a pay and clear. I'm obviously expecting the money to clear at least by midnight. So then he calls. He's like, okay, this is where I should have started getting worried at this point. Because I'm like, okay, but I time you going to come and collect the TV. He's like, you know what? So that I can get the TV early, I'm going to send a driver to come and pick the to come and pick the TV up so that I can get it now. Now I'm still at work and I work in Brits. So I don't want to end up showing up to your house late in the evening. I'm like, okay, cool. Let the driver come. Eh. He sends first. Let me not even get. Let me not even tell you like that. Okay, driver arrives. When the driver comes, because this was the first thing I have. I never sold on OLX. So when the driver comes, I ask for his ID. I take a picture of his license. I even take a picture of his ID, thinking I'm being all safe. You know, I'm being vigilant because I'm not gonna get scammed on OLX. I read all the manuals. <laughs> okay, shut. I get everything. He tells me his name. I won't reveal the driver's name because yeah, I get his name and all of that. Sharp fede. I give driver the TV. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me know when France gets the TV. Sharp. Then I wait. I also take the driver's number as well. Just I, I something else for me to take his, his his number as well. Okay, sharp. Then I wait until the next day in the morning. 
So I check her. Uh, there's no money in my account. I remember also I called the guy who had said he was going to come and pick up and said that the TV is not there. And he said again, I hope you got the money. And I said to him, nah, don't worry, I've got proof of payment, everything is fine. He said, and then he's like, proof of payment, my guy, are you sure? And I'm like, ah, nah, it's, it's all good. I'm well, sorted. is it the guy that had said he'll come he'll after come, work? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Sharp, this is the next morning. This is the next morning now. So I'm like, I'm waking up super early, Pelasen Chagele was okay in the mind. I need to also call this other place in Midrand to and make sure and... that the, the TV doesn't that the TV doesn't go. Saying me, I'm waiting for the money. Eh, I call France, France doesn't pick up. I'm like, ah, okay, whatever. Then I call F and B. I'm like, yo, F and B, someone sent me money via Standard Bank and they said it would reflect today. Here's the reference number, this is what time it came in. They're like, okay, so let me check if it's good. No, sir, there's no funds like that, that are showing. There's nothing that's happening in your account. Are you sure you have the right reference number? I'm like, here it is. I can email you this. I feel like getting frustrated. I can email you this thing. It's in front of me. I can't make this up. Eh, FNP says none of that. I, mean, I get that consultant's email whilst on the phone send it. She's like, sir, this, this reference doesn't exist because a standard bank reference usually starts with one, two, three, four. At that moment. <laughs> At that moment, <laughs> hey, my heart dropped. I'm now hearing to me saying, you have a TV. I'm now hearing the Indian guy in my head, bro. Make sure that you see the money. Yo, it was a lot. So I dropped the phone inside the event B. I call France, not picking up. Call France, not picking up. Change the phone, call France, he picks up after three rings. I'm like, hey, France, you know, Sunday, so look, the money has reflected. What's going on? He's like, no, my brother I'm like, no, the bank said this is a fake thing. Can I have my money or my TV? <laughs> <laughs> because they must give me your TV. Because <laughs> they give me your TV back. France, France drops the phone. I call the driver. Three, three. Driver picks up. He's like, hello, who's this? I'm like, hi, it's a guy. Are you Francis driver? He's like, no. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but you came and picked up a TV yesterday. He's like, yeah, somebody called me and asked me to come and collect. I'm like, what do you mean someone called you and asked to collect? Like, no, my bro, I'm a taxi driver. I rank here in Kempton Park. Oh. Yo. Like. <laughs> I think that I'm sitting there looking at the TV stand while I'm on the phone right now. I'm MT, sitting looking at. Empty TV stand. <laughs> you know, it's so sad that it's <laughs> It's not right to say I told you so, but in this case, housemates, can I say I told you so? <laughs> no, you told me, babe. Anyway, that's not the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part that gets me. Not the end of it. <clears throat> the taxi guy comes and he's like, Yeah, I didn't even go to this person's place. We met in the middle of the street in Belleville. I mean, he was really helpful. He came, we went together to the police station opened the case and and things like that and the police even tried calling this guy and they're just like my guy you're scammed there's no way we're going to find this not a cell phone that's traceable or anything mm. but it's late to we'll open the case but nine out of ten times people don't get their things back yeah <laughs> i was even like yo that's the first time i interacted with the police for lost items i was so i was so in fact i was no longer pissed now i was just sad and i was scared because now my TV is gone, you know what I mean? And there's nothing there. What am I going to tell my mom when she comes back from Swaziland? When she comes and she sees Dololo TV in the TV room. <laughs> you know? And me, the big clown with the big red nose. Big, big clown. I call France again. I'm like, look, France, I'll even come and pick the TV up. Like, I don't, like, I really don't, I really don't, I don't, I don't care. I just want my TV. <laughs> Because, because after someone steals your thing, they will give it back. Babe, at that time, I'm going through the emotions. I just want my TV back. Mm. Like, it's like, you want me to tell the story of how your phone got ah. stolen? So don't come here. Guys, in the, let us know in the comment section, actually, if you want the story time about Dumi's phone getting Guys, I'll getting tell taken. the story. I'll do it on Dumi mm. Muloi. Mm, go and subscribe to her channel. She's going to me and yo, to me and yeah, yeah, to me and she's go and subscribe to her channel. The link is in the description <laughs> box me. and she'll tell you the story. Anyway, Shine of France, get to me at in France. I'll come and collect it. Just send me your location so I can come. And then calls me back. Ari, 
Listen, you know what? Forget that location. I'll bring the TV back to you. Just e-wallet me 150. <laughs> it wasn't 250. It was 150. No, I'll bring the TV. I'll bring the TV. <laughs> I'm a clown! I guys that time at Kinashelete, I'm not working, I'm not a student anymore. Like, okay, I was working but I hadn't been paid. I just oh, started working. It was the first month. All the money I have was money I borrowed from mom, money I borrowed from my wife who's a student to go to work. It's to, yeah, taxi to, money. To taxi money, yeah. Did I not send a hundred and fifty rounds? For two funds! <laughs> For fans to bring back. <laughs> I'm sure he broke you after. He did. <laughs> as soon as I got the message, I wanted to call him to find out if I got the pin. The number you dialed does not exist. No! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Instantly I was. Yo! Guys. Uh, but um, it's the part where you send someone money <laughs> to come back with your stolen goods. <laughs> like, away! Where? Okay, in the comment section, let us know if you've been scammed before. If you've been a clown like me over here, yeah. And how did they scam you? If you feel free, share in the comment section how you've been scammed. I've been how scammed, been but scammed. mine was more dangerous because those people were. Uh, yeah, you'll hear the story time on that channel. So yeah, I mean, from that time on, I have a motto that you have to get scammed once in your life in order for you to wake up. Now I'm mm. vigilant with every single thing. I'm not saying I can't get scammed again because scammers, yay. Yeah, scammers yay. are smart, but... But like now I'm vigilant with every single thing. Thank you so much for tuning in. This also brings us to the end of, of our... Yeah, we are about to tune in to Netflix. To Netflix. Put in I haven't food. put the strawberry in her mouth, but best believe I'll be putting it in her mouth off the camera. Thank you so much for tuning in, housemates. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Like, one thing and about Sanjuzo and subscribe. Like, you just took something so romantic and made it sound so distasteful. Like. <laughs> <Really? laughs> Alright, guys, catch you with another video. Like, in your mouth. <laughs> Imagine this in your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you in another video next week. Bye.